you guys. My name is Rachel Hale. So I am from a tiny town called Prescott, Arkansas. It's in southwest Arkansas. There's a population of 3,500 people, two stoplights, but the people are good, and I'm so grateful um, that I'm from there. And I actually came to Nashville for uh, Belmont University where I majored in songwriting. But while I was at Belmont, I ended up getting casted on American Idol season 12 and became a top 20 female finalist for that show. And so God used that to open up so many doors for me to be able to sing professionally. And, and then while I was in Nashville, I also became a part of a church plant called Nashville Life Church. And my pastors were Cece and Alvin Love. Um, that's how I know them. You would know her as Cece Winans, but her, her, but her real name is Cece Love. And I um, was so thankful I got to be a part of that church plant. And it was there that I wrote the song with um, Sean Fallon and Piper Jones called Firm Foundation. And that song went on to be recorded by Sayla. They made it the title of their record. And it ended up winning Inspirational Album of the Year at the Dove Awards, which is nuts to me. And I've been away in school, in ministry school, for the past three years and just graduated pretty recently and felt like it was time to step back into music. So I'm releasing this brand new single, Promised Land, and I'm really excited for y'all to hear it. Promised Land is near and dear to my heart. I wrote it actually six years ago, and I actually recorded it four years ago, but I just sat on it. I did not want to release it for whatever reason. I think I might have been nervous or I just didn't feel like it was the right time, so I waited. And I wrote it um, six years ago with Vince Sherman. And I'll never forget that day. I walked into his home studio feeling so discouraged because being in Nashville and having a dream to sing, you know, you can feel very discouraged at times if, you know, your dream's not coming to pass. And so I'll never forget going into his studio and sitting down to write that song and feeling discouraged. And we were talking about what we're going to write. And the scripture Genesis, in Genesis, I think it's 22, came to me where God told Abraham, I'm going to make your descendants as many as stars in the sky and sand on the seashore. And for the first time, I realized Abraham lived in the desert. All he saw all day long was sand, and all night long, all he saw was stars. And I realized in that moment that God actually gave Abraham a promise that correlated with the surroundings. And it was in that moment that God said, Rachel, your vision is so important to meditate on if you want to see the promises that I've spoken over your life come to pass. So we wrote this song called Promised Land, and there's a, there's a line in it that says, where your dreams are stars that give you strength to stand. So for the past six years, I've been singing it over my own heart, like when I feel discouraged, like if I'm ever going to do music professionally or, or go after my dream that I've felt called to since, a little, since I was a little girl. And I would sing this over my own heart. And then when COVID hit, when the pandemic hit, and all these people felt so hopeless, it was as if God said, now's the time to release this song. And so I pray that this song would bring you hope in the season that we're in, that that, that your dreams would give you strength to stand in the midst of uncertainty and that you would see the promises that God has spoken over your life come to pass. Oh my goodness. So Hale's Kitchen is such a fun thing that I love doing. Um, but it started when I was in L.A. and I was actually at a stay-at-home order um, that the governor had asked during COVID. And I was staying at home and I couldn't go anywhere. And actually, a series of horrible events had happened right before then, too. Like, the day I, I had been casted for a TV show, signed the contracts, everything, got dropped from the show. And then my catalytic converter got stolen out of my car. And then, like, in L.A., and I'm in a nice neighborhood. I, it, it blew my mind. I was like, how does this happen? You know? But it did. And uh, I'm in my house, and, and then the stay-at-home order happens. So I'm, like, in L.A., Basically, you know, lost my job. I, uh, my car is broken down, and I can't leave anyways, you know. And I'm like, God, this is horrible. And the Lord's like, I want you to start giving thanks. And I was like, okay, I'll start giving thanks. And, uh, and I start giving thanks for what I have. And, uh, the, and then literally, for some reason, I started giving thanks for my Instagram. And I started, well, thank you for my Instagram. And he's like, and God was like, I want you to start stewarding that better. You have something. I want you, and, and I was like, well, how can I steward it? And uh, I love eating healthy. And so he's like, I want you to reach out to a company. And so I began to reach out to companies, and they began to want to sponsor me to do videos for them to cook. And so this hidden thing that people didn't know about me, how I love paleo food and, and eating really healthy, ended up being something that I was able to give away to people. 
and I was able to partner with different companies and I'm still doing it just to cook up healthy meals um, for, for people to, to enjoy. So that's the journey and it's been such a fun thing to do during this time and, and during this time of being at home for the pandemic. Y'all can watch Hell's Kitchen on my Instagram. It's on my IGTV. It is totally a pun on my last name as well as a spin on Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. And I hope it brings you joy because that's really why I'm doing it, just to bring you joy during all that's going on in the world. <laughs>